Thank you very much. We had a very interesting session uh, led by uh, Henrietta Palmer, and it started off with uh, a, two questions on um, what competencies are needed for co-production and how do we develop them. And we were each, uh, we were all discussing in small groups, introducing ourselves to our, our fellow participants around uh, what competency we, competencies, competencies we think that are required for the, the co-production method um, within different contexts. And then there was uh, an exchange from the panel on the different co-production projects that uh, they have done in, in their different cities. But uh, I'll skip ahead to the, the common and different threads throughout uh, each of them and the, the ensuing conversations that we all had. Uh, I think one of the most important was that we create support structures and training for co-productive research because it can be um, quite a, a new way of doing research within um, to, to many of us with, uh, with histories in, in just in academia. And they also require spaces for reflection and for care. Uh, to be able to then leave the co-productive space and reflect on what has happened um, and try to link it back to, to what we know, what to the theories before re-engaging within the co-productive process. And th that also ties to the, the selection of people for co-productive research is, is very important. Um, not everyone should do co-production research. And also not every problem can be solved by co-productive research. Uh, there was very uh, interesting conversations around um, how also the competencies for different programs or uh, co-production within different spaces is very contextual and it, different competencies will be required in different contexts. Uh, there was also a lot of discussion around the difference between opting in and buying in to the co-production process. A lot of funders, a lot of um, external uh, influences are now pushing towards uh, doing more co-productive research and some of the, the partners will opt in but not buy in. And I think that's a, a very nuanced process about trying to work out uh, whether you can get those partners to buy in or whether you need to um, reevaluate uh, the method and the model as you go. And the, uh, one of the last common threads was around um, language and power dynamics. Uh, a lot of us do not come from the social sciences, and so there's a lot around language and power dynamics that we don't really understand and need to be kind of walked through fairly slowly around uh, how to navigate the, these quite new um, spaces that uh, come with co-production and, and these projects. Um, I think that to go through some of the top takeaways, there's a lot of trust that is necessary um, in order to kind of navigate and tolerate the levels of confusion and complexity that are involved in these kinds of projects and um, trying to create constructive conflict uh, in order to uh, try to disengage conflict from the power dynamics that are at play. Uh, 